the V's Kitchen. Now as you remember the last video I posted was about making your very own disinfectant liquid. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use that very same disinfectant liquid around the house and how to keep yourself safe and sanitized during this outbreak of coronavirus. So in this video I've taken up three places, the living room, the bathroom and the kitchen. Now the places in the uh, living room are applicable to every other room like your bedroom or study um, etc. So if you want to know how to sanitize your home then keep on watching. So in the living room we are going to start with a coffee table and for the whole cleaning process you need a pair of rubber gloves, a roll of paper towels and our disinfected liquid. So first you're going to just make sure it's nicely shaked up and you're going to spray on the corners because like you can see you pull it and push it so you touch the um, edges the most. So you're going to just spritz the edges. And the thing is that you uh, once uh, you want to swipe in one direction. So you'll see that I will be swiping. Um, I'm uh, swiping from uh, right to left motion. And um, after I'm done swiping it from right to left, I don't want to go it again from left to right. So like I want to keep on doing it in only one direction because if we go backwards then the bacteria which you have just wiped off will again um, come back on the surface. So um, the once the edges are done the second most touched object in our homes is the TV remote. So you're just going to spritz the remote from um, uh, distance and you're just going to uh, dry it you want to just make sure that the moisture is no longer there now the uh, we're going to just clean the glass on the coffee table and again in one swipe and the coffee table is done Next here you can see I have the modular or the TV cabinet and so there are these little handles and we're going to clean them as well. Um, we use it whenever we want to get any type of glass or any bills which we keep so you're just going to spritz and that's done. Next you have switches. Now switches are really common there in every part of our house. So you're just going to spritz and wipe in a single motion. And once that is done. We're going to now move on to the door and here you can see you open and close, you lock the door and it's also one of the most used places. Um, so you're going to again spritz it and then you're going to swipe. So you can see a dab over there and you don't want to da use a dabbing motion, you want to use a swiping motion. Next, if you keep any athletic athletic uh, equipment in your house like uh, in my house we have a treadmill you are going to spritz all the start and stop button the inclination the handlebars like uh, places like that now we are going to move on to the kitchen so the kitchen is also one of the uh, very uh, like places in the house which can get dirty easily so you're going to first start with the switchboard and um, you want to make sure that all the lights are switched off or any kind of you know, electric current is passing through. Even if there is any electric current, if you are wearing rubber gloves, you will be safe. And you can see I showed you before that there was a lot of grime on the switches. Next, we are just going to clean the gas knobs because they also get used very frequently since it is a kitchen and it gets very dirty. Now coming to appliances, here um, I have the fridge and you can see the handles are like sort of caved in and then you have the water dispenser and like a little locking mechanism. So you're just going to first clean the outer parts which are like located in the front of the refrigerator and then just inside. So giving you a closer look just spread it inside and clean that really nicely
Next, the water dispenser. So like this pressing thing which releases the water. And there is also like this uh, locking and unlocking which like once you unlock it, then only it gets pressed and releases water. And since summers are here, it is used quite frequently. Now this is our mixer grinder. Everyone has these um, frequently used as well. Just spritz and clean. Next appliance is this microwave. So first you're gonna clean the handle. One swiping motion and then the buttons. The buttons are like frequently used since you want to use the different functions and start and stop button. So clean that as well. Next we're gonna come to the bathroom. So hello guys, you can see this is the full view of my bathroom. The shower, um, my all the products I use, everything. And so first we're going to start with the faucet. So very easy, you like lift it up, use the soap dispenser. So you're just going to spritz it and swipe it in one go. The same thing with the soap dispenser. You want to actually sanitize the things you sanitize with i know that sounds really crazy but it's very important next i have this like little um cupboard in my um bathroom so just gonna clean that as well it has like all different products like refills for the soap extra toothpaste like that and then here i have another switchboard and you're just gonna spritz that as well and clean that Now here I have the shower faucet, um, the shower tap faucet both for taking like baths. You're gonna clean that as hey well. Hey guys, so if you like today's video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and give it a huge thumbs up. And also don't forget to use these tips and tricks to sanitize your home during this outbreak of coronavirus. Don't forget to sanitize every hour or so and stay safe. Bye!